Okay, sorry for the little hold up. I was just trying to get all my things in order. I'm going to go over my PowerPoint presentation on my 5S project that I did. Um, this 5S project was on my double car garage at, here at my house. It's been pretty cluttered up for a long time and I decided to use this <clears throat> project to go ahead and clean it up and get it going. It was just a perfect timing for it. So let me begin with this. So talking about the 5S, the processing project, which, you know, was very beneficial for this and I never really thought about it much, but, you know, this process is pretty much used like in a lot of everyday, like jobs, you know. So let me get to my first slide. Okay, so I like I like I was explaining, you know, I did do my home garage as a chosen space. Um, it was a good good opportunity to take advantage of this assignment and to go ahead and and try this out, try this five S process out. So the first very thing that you know. I had to do was sort. This is like the beginning phase of the 5S. <clears throat> so once I got into that garage, you know, I noticed like, man, I had a lot of clutter, a lot of things laying around. As, as you can see on this first, I mean, it was just a big old mess. You know, I had plywood and things on the floor. And, you know, I have other pictures on the slide from the other side. I had paint cans, you know, just real dusty, a bunch of trash everywhere. So <clears throat> what I did was I kind of sorted out what I had, like, that I knew that I wasn't going to need that was trash. And just I was able to pick and choose what kind of things needed to stay in the garage. What, you know, I have another storage shed out in the back. So I was able to distinguish what I was going to move and keep inside that garage and it was very helpful with it too, you know, because you just eliminate some, you eliminate a lot of the mess that you don't need or you kind of get like a good, like I mentioned here, it's like a brainstorm view, like, all right, I got this here, I got that there, I don't need this, I need that here, so it was very helpful too. And once I got all that situated, once I got all that situated, you know, I was able to straighten, which is another step in the 5S process. Once again, I, I straightened out a bunch of things. I had paint cans that were empty, paint cans that still had paint. I was able to get those straightened up. My little tool shelf up here. Yeah, I had a bunch of tools. I don't know if you can see there, but it was like a little yellow tool bag by that little mop bucket. I mean, I had tools in there too that I was just like, what are they doing in here? And I have perfectly a bunch of pinholes on that on that little board I have up there so I was able to get a lot of that you know neatly stacked and all that and of course you know you can see on here you know there's plenty of room there's like plenty of hooks so I was able to to get a lot of that stuff straightened out and hung back up it was pretty nice and, you know straightening up things it's it's always a good thing to do because like man it just you know that's when you kind of you could kind of like start organizing it was a good process of getting a good organize, a, a good organization of like how things should be, you know, straightening things up. It also helps you like, you know, especially like working with tools, you know, screwdrivers can get misplaced or, you know, it's so easy just to use a screwdriver in the house and throw it in one of your cabinet drawers and then you go out to the garage where, I, where it's supposed to be and it's not there. So straightening that was it really helped me out a lot with that, and I was pretty happy once I got done with it. <clears throat> One of these other steps that I did here was big old step right here. It was a sweeping step, so it's easy to say like sweeping, like yeah, you sweep with the broom, but it's not necessarily that it has to be done with the broom. There's other there's other methods where I could see where sweep could come, but when you hear sweep, you think of cleaning out, so. Yeah, that's what I that's what I did with this step right here. You know, I was able to, I kind of piled up all my big trash. You can see that big old pile. So there's like a bunch of big papers there. There's even a shoe there. Um, yeah, I was able to get all the big big piles of the trash in one, in that all in that one section, and and um, 
and that bigger papers and all that, you know, I had a trash can that I was able to dump them in. You can see my trash can there. And then, of course, you get to the little small clutter, you know, like the little small pieces of paper. I had leaves in there, you know, the wind's kind of bad in this area. So I was able to get all them leaves and, you know, all composed and all neatly swept for the most part. You know, there's still a bunch of trash in there still. It's kind of hard to tell, but this floor was very dusty. You know, I've been slacking trying to clean it. But yeah, I was able to get all that trash, you know, cleaned up and stuff. And I also had a leaf blower that I use when I mow, when I mow my yard outside. So once I got all these papers and all the big stuff picked up, I was able to get that leaf blower out and start blowing all that dust out of the garage. It got real dusty in there, but you know, at least I didn't have no trash blowing out my my garage out to the street. You know, I'd probably upset a bunch of neighbors if I did that. So. Being able to sweep and, and get all that trash, get it all rid of it, man, it was real nice. And, you know, I mean, you can kind of see there, it's like, man, it's like a big old difference that, that that step did. And very important step, very important step. And you can kind of see, you know, whatever you had as your project begin to take, like, form right there. And I was like, man, it, like, it really needed it. And I started feeling a little bit happy about it once once I got done past this step. <clears throat> so moving on to the next step which was we call standardize you know yeah at this moment it's like wow i mean look at the before like there's all that clutter in there stuff on the floor on the sides like right here on the south side like where the bricks and all that stuff are laid out that's usually like where i park my my truck you know but this garage even though it's a double car garage i couldn't fit two vehicles in there to save my life you know, the vehicles I have are already kind of big as it is, and it just would never work, you know. And sometimes the weather gets bad, you know, over here it rains or you wash your ride and, you know, it gets dusty out here and, you know, it just kind of kind of sucks not being able to have, you know, take advantage of, of, of storing your two, two vehicles in a garage. And then coming back down here, that's when you kind of see, like, look at that big old opening space. You know, there's a leaf blower right there and, I know I mentioned Halloween's about to be here this month, you know, and there's my little skeleton I had on the floor, so I found a good place for him. He's now on the yard now. But look how neat my my little tool board out there looks, you know. Everything's just real nice and clean on the side. I know I had them, that piece of plywood there, but I was able to get rid of that too, you know. Um, I had a buddy of mine that, you know, he's he seen it outside and stopped by there. He needed a piece of plywood. So I was like, hey, you know, we'll just take it for free. You could have it. That's one less thing I had to, had to deal with. Um, but, yeah, you can see how clean that whole floor is, you know, right there. And I was I was pretty happy with that. Um, after doing this, you know, I just I sat out there right next to that skeleton on that chair. And I was just like, man, I was like, this is how. This is how it's supposed to look all the time, you know. And um, I called my wife. My wife was out of out of town that that day. Um, we had an event, little baby, a little gender reveal for our baby coming up, you know. The next day, it was on a Sunday when we had it, but I was able to call her and tell her about it. And just you know, I just felt like a big, big old sense of pride, you know, doing all this. It just made me feel really good about it. So standardizing is like real important right here because you know you just see it and you know like hey this is you kind of like it's almost like what it says you set the standard right there you set the standard right there of what what your goal was what you achieved and what it should be like and yeah right here with this picture i was able to see that and i was really happy I mean, look at that you know just seeing that like since i've been here in this house i've been here 10 years and I have not been able to have two vehicles in my garage, never, until until now. Just kind of like we were talking about, a little bit of standardized, you know, you set the standard, but now it's it's sustained. So am I going to keep this going? So I achieved this goal and, and, you know, it happened, I did it. So, you know, I spoke with my kids and my wife and um, we just kind of talked about, like, how could we keep this going and not let it get out of hand like the way it did. And we made big commitments of like, hey, you know, even if it's just blowing out a couple leaves, you know, every week, you know, I got that leaf blower blowing out that dust. 
I kept the trash can in there. Any pieces of paper that's in there, like, hey, don't be lazy. They just throw it in the trash. When the trash fills up, you know, throw it. And that's just something that we all got to keep, you know, you know, stay committed to doing that ourselves. And, yeah, like I just mentioned, like, it just having a sense of pride of it, you know. It's very nice to have a clean garage, you know, it just... You just feel better about it. Just every time you walk in there, you don't have to worry about all the clutter or watching your steps, you know, like what are you going to hit or what's in the way. But, yeah, I mean, I think we'll be able to sustain this, you know, and just, you know, using tools, just knowing that, hey, we use a tool, like it ain't that hard just to walk back out and, and go put it back in its slot of where it belongs. Um, It's a big commitment to do, but, you know, as a team, as a family, very possible. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. And, I mean, I feel just for anyone in general that that does a project and uses this method, you know, you you put the time in, you put the work, you know. It's just one of those deals like, hey, now, you know, did you do that all that for nothing? Or now that it's done, like, hey, like, let's take advantage of it and, and just keep it that way. So, yeah, sustain is very... Very important too. It's just like one of those deals. Like I said, you do it, you get it done. Now, how? Now, what do we need to do to keep it, or what do I need to do to keep this the same? And even from here, you know, hey, you might get an, another idea later, and you'd be like, hey, you know what? Maybe I could do this or do this next time, you know, and and add that, and you know, being able to sustain it. You know, you already you could discipline yourself already by doing that, and then why not add another extra little feature to it, and and be able to sustain it so very important and like i said my goal was achieved very happy there's a few little things that i could probably get rid of and you know find another place for it but yeah it worked out great worked out real great you know it's pretty nice to have two rides in there my white truck's big it takes most of the room but very happy with it I'm not going to read this word for word. I just kind of just speaking, you know, from my mind. But, you know, I feel pretty good about it. Um, I think, like, to conclude this presentation and, and this project, you know, it was, you know, it was a lot of work. You know, I, I had to bust, bust my butt, you know, to get that clean. You know, I have, I didn't have no one to help me that day. So, yeah, I, you know, I... I got real dusty with missing with all that dirt. My hands got dirty. Um, what else? My hands got all dirty, missing with. You know, I sweated. It was hot that day too. Having the garage open, all them flies missing with me, and and uh, yeah, it was a it was a cool little project I did. And overall, I'm glad that I did it. You know, for once, you know, like I said, it's been shoot. Probably about six years since I've last cleaned this garage like really thorough like this, and it worked out for the better. And you know, like I mentioned that weekend, we ended up having bad weather as we were having our gender reveal um, party, and and uh, we couldn't have it outside, and it just worked out perfect. Like it was like it was meant to happen, and. You know, I was able to get some tables in my garage and all that. And, you know, we had our friends and family come and we had the room for it. And it was a nice, clean garage, smelt good, everything. So it was a good thing to do. You know, some of the things I could take from the 5S project is like, like you could just apply this to anything, like something simple, like cleaning your room. It don't even have to be 